And we continue on in our morning show to celebrate ourselves as Trinidad and Tobago Cinema is set to shine bright at the Toronto International Film Festival coming this September, the 12th to be exact. And to help us explore how we will shine, we are joined by Nigerian filmmaker James Amuta and Miss Penelope Spencer, no stranger to the Now Morning Show, this morning wearing her actress and writer's hat as we discuss their films in the festival. James, Penelope, good morning and welcome to the Now Morning Show. I know that we will be switching in between because you are both abroad right now as you get ready for that film festival. But I'm kicking things off immediately with James as you would have been making a different connection, being a Nigerian filmmaker and shooting in Trinidad with a cast that is 125% Trinidad Bigunian. <laughs> James, good morning and thank you again for making that connection. Morning. Jumping straight into it, let's talk about the film when the monsters, uh, or rather, a mother's revenge first. How do we get here? Why is there a mother's revenge? And who is the female John Wick version in this film? Okay, um, for the female John Wick, um, the female Caribbean John Wick, mm -hmm. um, that, that would be for when the monsters come out. Um, uh, Mother's Revenge also is another very riveting story. It's just drama, but um, when the when the monster comes, when the monsters come out, is a genre of film. So, which one do you want me to start with? Mother's Revenge or when the monsters come out? Well, you do have different connections in both of them. One you've collaborated with Penelope on, the other you're writing. So let's start with your your film, which hopefully will become a feature film, right? For length is the oh, goal? yes so, yes so what we did what we came to do um what we did with when the monsters come out is what we filmed we filmed the first 15 pages of the the screenplay as um more of like a proof of concept and a teaser into the main offering which is um which we're expanding into a film franchise or um serial drama so it's 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 a much more expanded universe um, when the monsters come out and the the story revolves around the um, the protagonist who is um tangelo the the leading lady um a widow and she is you know she she's out to cost me him john wick style <laughs> and um you know just in order to get a daughter back you know, so, so yeah, it's a very exciting project because um, for so many reasons. One reason was the location. I felt um, Trinidad and Tobago had that um, serene tranquility and that that beauty to to capture. Because in essence, what the film is about is it's um, aquatic adventure, basically. You know. So, so these pirates come to disrupt the livelihood of a small fishing village, and they all band together to to stop them. Well, let me not give you, give too much away. <laughs> so, so, so that's what it's about. So it, Trinidad and Tobago was a natural selection, and um, uh, it, it came after the workshop I had. It was was a natural selection. It was like this is where this is going to be made, and then. And then, yeah, casting, Penelope did the casting for When the Monsters Come Out, and, and it was amazing. I didn't have, I, I would say I didn't have any input with that. You, you know, she just, she, she, she suggested the actors, I looked at, at the actors, and they were telling me, they were hand in glove. And, and then we went out, um, my choice for Abel Jackson as, as um, Tangela was, was put on, because she had, she had this immediately I saw I saw this duality, this duplicity, mm. somebody who could appear gentle, but behind that gentility there there was something, there was a potential for immense violence. And 
and <laughs> that was what I wanted in character, and it was, was an well, easy choice. Well, we're seeing that, that paying off, because in terms of the selection for the film festival, that's just one of them. Let's talk a little bit about A Mother's Revenge, then. That way, I can also segue to Penelope a little bit. Now, uh, James, as far as that particular film goes, your involvement is more of the background. So, Penelope, tell me a little bit as to the selection process, your thoughts and hopes that people come away with from that particular piece. Well, I was so excited when um, our, uh, our little film um, got chosen to be attached to James in the first place. I mean, if you're attached to James Amuta, you are attached to... You know greatness so i was really happy that this happened and um he is tagging our little mother's revenge along with his um when the monsters came and i am so happy and i'm so thankful to film tt for making all of this happen you know um we did a workshop and out of the workshop uh, we the, one of the last assignments was to make a, a short film with something meaty and meaningful. And um, I, I wrote a script along with Princess Donalon and and I got my friend Cecilia to, to come on because of course it's, it's all guerrilla style shooting. Mm -hmm. And that's what James came to talk about in this deal with in the workshops that Film TT um, organized, guerrilla type shooting. And um, we did and then we were selected. We got, um, we won the last challenge and that's how we became even to be a part of all of this. Nice. And I am really, really excited for, for, for um, people out there to see the talents that ha we have here in Trinidad. You know, we're small, but I always say we real Talawa, you know, mm -hmm. and um, so he got this done in, in a day. These All these shoots were like in, done in two or three days. You know, when the monsters came, when the monsters came, it was like done in about two or three days, you know, and um, 15 pages in a script to be done in two or three days is amazing. Phenomenal, um, absolutely. So, yeah, it was, it was a whole, it's a wonderful feeling. And I, I really hope that the people out there who get to view this understand the greatness that is TNT. Now, you know. Penelope, as a stalwart in the industry, I mean, you can describe it and probably have before, but how do you think the screening of these films will affect and impact the broader Trinidadian film landscape? You know, I am hoping that it starts with the head. The head of whoever um, is in charge, I know that is there and, and, the, and Dion is there, and, but I want them to see the value that this has and that it will bring more to the, our society, to the theatre, to the film industry, to the acting industry, because we can do the work. So I'm hoping that it starts there. Beautiful. James, I'm coming head. back to you because as someone who has seen other film industries blossom, any insight that you could share with Little Trinbago as to how far we can go with support, I suppose? Um, um, thank you. This is a very brilliant question. This this is exactly what I've been preaching since. You know, um, I, I I think like Penelope said, I I think the head from the head, the government from from the governments to the private sector to everybody involved in the hospitality um, industry, telecoms, and and. Um, every, every industry, they must come to realize and understand the value of film. I don't think they get it yet. Mm -hmm. And they must not just realize the value, but also position themselves to be able to tap into this value mm -hmm. and understand the process of film and how film is made. And to truly, I know it's been said, oh, we want to, Trinidad and Tobago is a film-friendly destination. Fine, it is, in terms of beauty and all that. But in terms of um, of um, the culture and the attitude towards products, towards film in general, I think this needs to change. I think the government and, and everybody some... and the stakeholders involved in the private sector, they need to actively, a little bit of actively change their mindset or perception of film. 
Definitely. I am absolutely thrilled that they were able to join us and that Zoom held out at least to the last moment. But just then we were speaking with Mr. James Am Amuta, the Nigerian filmmaker, and of course Penelope Spencer joining us via Zoom as well, as they are getting ready to continue to shine that light on our local film industry. September 12th out there in Toronto's Film uh, Festival. We thank them both for joining on. us and making certain that they leave some very, very Important parting knowledge as we get ready to take a quick break and come back with more here on the Now Morning Show. Mark your calendars, September 12th. But until then, we'll be right back.